Hello, friends. Thanks for joining me again in the studio today, where we are going to make the most delicious smelling, fun looking avocado, cilantro, and lime scented confetti soap. You need quite a few ingredients, so here they are in no order of importance, just a list. We're first going to start out with chopping up our soap block into little soap squares. And I've actually gone through this video and made a list, like you see on the screen now, of steps that you need to take to complete this soap. Just so that if you're following along, it's easier, I think, if you have a set list of instructions to go by. So I went ahead and did that for you because I'm really hoping that at least one of you will try to make this soap. It smells so good. You could even change the scent to something that you prefer, but it's so fun to look at. You can do whatever colors you want. You don't have to use pink and blue. We used pink and blue because that's what my daughter chose, and that was fine with me. I didn't care one way or the other. I just wanted really vibrant colors. Now, we got this idea originally from Anna over at Koala Soaps. She's got a really great soap-making channel, so if you have a chance, I would totally check her out. She's a cool soap maker, and she makes all kinds of neat melt-and-pour soaps, and that's what this is, is a melt-and-pour soap. So now that we've got the soap all chopped up, we're going to heat it in 30-second bursts until it's melted, and then we'll start adding our colors and our fragrance. You know, it's been a really long week this week. I was supposed to go to Belize with some art friends of mine for an art retreat. Um, a friend of mine has a couple of houses in Belize, and she was kind enough to invite a bunch of us to go down and do an art retreat slash vacation so that we could all get away and focus on art for a week. And we found out this week that the borders of Belize are closed until, until the end of June. So we're not getting to go. We're going to have to wait until September. And I am so bummed. This was going to be my first vacation ever without my children. Ever. Ever. In 27 years. My son, my oldest son was going to turn 27 while I was in Belize. So I am so bummed. I I just can't tell you how much I was looking forward to this vacation. And going back to the video, we did use way too much mica because we wanted our col colors to be really vibrant and vivid. So if you're going to make this soap, don't use the amount of mica that we used. That's why I cut out how much we exactly used because it wasn't going to be helpful information for you. I would say using two micro or micro scoops of that mica would be plenty because we had mica for days. So I was really bummed that my Belize trip was canceled. And I'm wondering, has this coronavirus had any impact on your life like that? What is the biggest disappointment that you found that you've had during this coronavirus outbreak? I'm curious to see if anybody else has suffered a massive disappointment like that, because we all have the day-to-day -day disappointments where we want to get our hair cut, or we want to do something else and they're closed, or we can't go out, or things like that, but I'm just wondering if, if anybody else has had any big disappointments come along. So leave me a message in the comments. And while you're doing that, I would really love it if you gave this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would warmly welcome you to do so. I would love to have you as a part of our little YouTube family. I make all kinds of crafts and creations. Um, this started out as an alcohol channel, but is morphing into a broader base of fun different crafts and activities that you can do. So I'm hoping to bring you all kinds of fun experiments that we can do together. And if you want to see any particular craft done, or if you're curious about how to do something, leave me a comment in the comment section, and I will try very hard to make a video on it. 
Um, I know how to do a lot of different mixed media things, so I would love to make a video on whatever it is that you're curious about. So just leave me a note in the comments. So after you put your, your soap in your mold, you're going to want to spray it with some 99% alcohol so that you disperse the bubbles that form on the top of the soap. And at this point, we're just going to let the soap cure for about 90 minutes, about an hour and a half is all it takes. Um, until you can pull the soap mold, the soap from the soap mold and begin to grate it. And, you know, some of you know that my daughter has been staying with me while she waited for her first apartment to be ready. And I'm very sad to say that her apartment was ready yesterday and she started moving yesterday and is spending her first night in her first apartment tonight and I am so nervous for her. I'm so excited for her, but I'm so nervous for her, and I miss her so much. She was so fun to have around. I really enjoyed having her here. It was her and her friend, Ashley, that stayed, and you can see their hands in and out of this video. When you see an extra set of hands, that's where they're coming from, because the girls helped me make all kinds of stuff while they were here, and we had such a good time. You know, in that video of the giveaway, I mentioned that we made 60 pounds of soap together, and this is in addition to those 60 pounds of soap. And if you have no idea how much 60 pounds of soap is, just let me tell you, it is a lot of soap. It is a lot of soap. So we've had a really good time since she's been here and I miss her already and she's only been gone one night. I just hate that that she had to go. But before she left, she adopted a bunny. So the bunny is still here while she gets everything moved into her apartment. But that is the cutest little thing I have ever seen. The bunny is absolutely adorable, and he's so sweet. I guess the people that had him before us abused him and didn't take care of him. And I just can't get over how somebody can mistreat an animal like that because he is so wonderful and so sweet. And I'm so glad that my daughter wound up with him, especially if those people weren't going to take care of him. But he was, he's just adorable. So she has a great big dog pen set up in my living room and is letting the bunny kind of run around in this dog pen. And the, do the bunny seems perfectly happy. And he is just so sweet and so fun to be around. I'm going to miss it when she takes him with her too. So they've added a whole bunch of fun to my life over the past few weeks. And I just hate to see everybody go. It's going to be back to boring life again. They really added some spark and some sparkle to my life while they were here. So we've added the, the soap grating pieces, the grated soap pieces, to the mold. And now we're just adding in the white soap, um, which is going to form the majority of our soap, the the grated pieces are going to be the confetti pieces. You want to make sure that you add a lot of alcohol to the confetti pieces so that, number one, it's easier to get them out of the bowl and they don't stick together as much. But then, two, you want the white soap to stick to the confetti pieces. So you want to make sure that you give copious amount of, you spray copious, copious amounts of alcohol on the grated soap pieces or your soap won't stick together and you won't come up with a very good result in the end. So just make sure that you spray down your grated soap pieces with the alcohol before you pour in the white soap base. And you want to do the white soap at about 130 degrees, just so that it doesn't melt your confetti pieces. That would be a total bummer to go through all the work of grating all of that soap and having it all melt and turn into one big clump. So we're just adding our white base that kind of adheres all of the confetti pieces together. And this soap was very, very easy to make. And you don't need to make nearly the amount that we did. The reason we made so much is because that's the size of the loaf mold that I had. But if you have a smaller loaf mold, you could easily get away with making a much smaller batch of the soap. Um, I did use the avocado, cilantro, and lime fragrance for this soap. It's what my daughter Rebecca picked out. 
Um, but I could easily see this soap being a bubblegum flavor for kids or a real fun flavor, not flavor, smell. Yeah, you probably don't want to eat the soap, but a real fun smell um, that matches the fun of this confetti soap. So all we have left to do is unmold and cut the soap. And my soap cutter isn't big enough to fit this loaf mold in it, so I had to cut it by hand. And I'm one of those kinds of people that can't draw or cut a straight line if my life depends on it. So this was an adventure all on its own. But I did a pretty good job. It's not too out of whack. Um, we already have these enclosed in their little air, whatever they're, they're called. The, we've air sealed them where they're in that cellophane wrapper shrink shrink wrapped them i think is what you call it so we've already shrink wrapped the soap and it's already ready to go it smells so good and it's so cute to look at i'm really excited about this soap it's one of the the more fun soaps that we made so i'm just going to line up my knife and cut them in about 1 inch bars and then i will cut it I'm cutting it horizontally right now, and then in a minute, I'm going to cut it vertically so that I get two bars out of each of these long bars. So it made a decent amount of soap. I'm excited to try these bars and see how well they they hold up in the shower, but I encourage you to try these. If Even if you've never made soap before, these are so easy, even a beginner could could get these done. We did have a little bit of a problem with our bottom layer sticking, and I think it's because, you'll see here in just a minute, see how I have that bottom white piece that doesn't adhere to the rest of the soap? Our soap had gotten, that first layer was the right temperature, but the soap to pour on top of it um, had was way too hot, so we had to wait for it to cool down. And I think the problem is that first layer of soap cooled a lot, and there was no way to get the alcohol directly on that layer of soap when we spritzed the alcohol. I think it got caught on all of the confetti pieces. So that bottom layer of soap didn't really stick to our bars. So when I was done cutting it, I just opted to remove it. And you'll see that here in a second. I just, we're going to remelt it and use it for something else because it didn't really stick to any of the bars. So we just have an extra side of confettiness. That's all. And it looks totally fine. So without it. So yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that. I just pulled it off of all the bottoms of the bars. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I did have a great time making it for you. And I appreciate Rebecca and Ashley helping me with all of the preparations and giving me the different tools that I needed to create this. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate those, and my channel grows a little bit more every time you give me a thumbs up or you subscribe, which I appreciate immensely. Thank you for watching. Again, I had a great time making this for you. I hope you have a great week. Take care, stay safe and healthy and sane, and I'll talk to you soon. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye. And if you're looking for another great video to watch, check out the videos that are on your screen now. They're sure to inspire. Take care.